everybody. My name is Christopher Drain, part of the support team here at INE, and I'm here to talk about an updated rack rental control panel that's going to make it easier for our members to interact with the devices in their topology. So I've already created a, an RNS rack session, RS rack 15, just so that all my devices are up and running, ready to access. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this control panel, get to this. So immediately you're going to notice that we placed all of these device icons on this page. Each one of these icons represent another connection to a device. So let's go ahead and click on R3 and show you what your options are. You can open up a telnet connection. I'll go over this in a second, a little deeper. You can show configuration, clear the line, you can power cycle the device, or you can test the connection. Testing the connection simply should, provides a snapshot of whether the device is up and running and is ready to access. Nothing more. It takes about 15 seconds for the output to come up. Yeah, there you go. And you can just see right there, R3 is ready to go. Just close it out. Let's get back to it. Power cycling simply just turns the device off and powers it back on. Nothing more. You can clear the line. If, you've, if you had a previous Telnet connection to that device, you're going to need to clear the line before you can access it again. That's if you've closed the window. And show configuration. This just simply provides the output of what the current running configuration is on that device. Before you had to have a separate Telnet connection or a Telnet client before you're able to uh, connect to any of these devices. Well, now our system handles that Telnet connection for you. So you don't have to worry about having port 23 open in your network. If you have access to the internet and you have a browser, you will be able to access any of these devices. So you can see here the line is busy. Let's go ahead and clear it. And you can stay in this window. Go ahead and hit enter and your host name should appear. Okay, so as soon as this window opens, our system begins recording all activity within this window. And at any time, you can open this window up and just hit this play button down here. And it'll go through everything that you've configured on this device or any activity this device had um, for as long as this window has been open throughout your entire session. So let's go ahead and go through some of the options you have in this window. You can clear the line like I just showed you. You can minimize it. Now when you minimize it, it's just going to be placed down at the bottom in a tab at the bottom of the page. Our system still continues to record any activity in this, regardless of whether it's minimized or not. Let's go ahead and open it back up. You can click this window button. Now this window button is going to open up an entirely new browser window and put this connection there. You can resize it. Again, you can minimize it. And it'll just be placed down next to your browser icon. Let's go ahead and get back to it. Now as long as this window stays open, even if it's minimized, again, our system continues to record all activity. When you close the window, that's when the Telnet connection is terminated and any recorded activity is lost. Let's go ahead and minimize that. So a couple recommendations. Save your configuration often. And don't close any of your Telnet connections until the end of your session. You want to be able to go through and review any of the, cap, any of the recorded um, activity on those windows at any time during your session. So leave them open until the end of your session. That's what we recommend. So I hope this helps you understand our updated rack rental control panel. Thanks for listening.